Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me present the study, uh, the style of solving complex situations, demonstration of harmony in work and compatibility, depending on individual psychological characteristics of secondary school principals in Latvia. We will present our study together with Valeris Dombrovskis and Svetlana Gusiva from Dalgopils University, Latvia, and as well uh, our course teacher, Vadim Smurashov from Folk Academy, Finland. Uh, actually, uh, the normal functioning of school staff requires interpersonal compatibility and high level of harmony in work between school principals and teachers, which is mainly determined by the principal's professional organizational and communicative skills. Everyone's satisfaction from doing joint activity and possible psychological climate in the group is an indicator of the effective interpersonal compatibility. Therefore, it is necessary to consider individual psychological peculiarities, compatibility, as well as the ways to solve complex situations in the process of business communication between the principal and the staff. Uh, in our current study, 107 secondary school principals with work experience up to 15 years took place. And the study uh, was based on the, f uh, on the major principles, which is free participation of respondents, understanding that there is an individual point of view on the issue and there are no right answers, as well individual performing and explaining the results to respondents, and respecting the willingness of respondents, not to mention that the civic workplace was considered uh, during uh, conducting our research. Uh, the study has three main phases. Defining individual psychological characteristics, assessment of compatibility and harmony in work of school staff, as well as behavior style and tactics in solving conflict situations. As we see, first of all, the study has identified individual psychological peculiarities of school principals according to introversion-extraversion scale. The result has shown that 16% of principals are extroverts, 15 introverts, while the result of 60, uh, while the rest of 69% of respondents range from 10 to 15 of introversion extraversion scale, and this distribution in the future we call ambivalent group, as we see in the slide, in the figure. During the next phase of the research, respondents have related collaboration and compatibility with business partners according to Avozo's method, harmony in work, and compatibility of teaching staff. 67% of respondents have good level of business collaboration, while, as we see in the figure, 38 school principals have shown only satisfactory level of psychological compatibility. This result of determining tactics and style of behavior of school principals in solving complex situations allow us defining three levels of reactions in solving conflict situation as we see in figure 3. Low, average and high. The average level of reaction in solving conflict situation has been detected among 59% of respondents, while 22% principals have low level of reaction. High level is found among 19% principals. In the figure 4, we see high level of reaction in conflict situation is typical only for, 30, for 36% of principals with tactics of accommodating, while 28% of respondents with high level of reaction chose compromising tactics, and 17% apply competing tactics. 60% chose avoiding tactics while collaborating and is characteristic for 5% of principles. For respondents with average level of reaction, two tactics of solving conflict situations are typical, avoiding and tolerating. 
23% of respondents with low reaction level chose compromising and 17% accommodating. 7% with average reaction level use competing tactics in solving conflicts. 58% uh, with low reaction level chose competing tactics in solving problems. And only 18% of respondents with low reaction level chose collaborating and 16% accommodating. In the next figure, we see that peculiarities of behavior styles in solving conflict situations of introverts and extroverts and ambivalent group among secondary school principals have been compared and analyzed together with their collaboration on incompatibility levels. For 47 representatives of the ambivalent group with high level of reaction in conflict, the dominant tactics is accommodating for 38% compromising and for only 7% collaborating. Altogether, 81% of respondents from the ambivalent group chose collaborating. It is worth mentioning that 97% of respondents from the ambivalent group with average reaction level use avoiding strategy in solving conflict. In the next slide, we can see that 53% extrovert assesses harmony in work as good. Weak and great assessments have similar results for extroverts. The satisfactory assessment of harmony in work is much higher among introverts than among extroverts. But the ambivalent group has assessed the level of harmony of work as great. The good level of harmony in work is found similarly among introverts, extroverts and representatives of the ambivalent group, which comprises 44, 66 and 53 percent. Here we can see that 65 extroverts assesses compatibility level as satisfactory while 63% of introverts as we For the ambivalent group, the typical level of harmony in work is compatibility and compatibility is great. Extroverts assess, assess the level of harmony of work and compatibility as satisfactory. Statistic, statistically significant positive correlation is found between individual psychological peculiarities and competing behavioral styles in complex situations. Another statistically significant positive correlation is found between behavioral styles collaborating, compromising and accommodating and the indicator of compatibility. And we also would like to conclude that success of introvert extrovert's work depends on objective events. The introvert's reaction is determined by the subjective factor. The ambivalent group quickly adapts, adapts to objective situation. The introvert's behavior style in conflict is avoiding, the extrovert competing, the ambivalent group accommodating and compromising. Satisfactory level of compatibility and good level of harmony in work is typical for extroverts. Weak level of compatibility and good level of harmony in work is typical for introverts. Good level of both compatibility and harmony in work is typical for the ambivalent group. Thank you for your time.